So have you ever created your own LUT and you didn't know how to put it in Premiere Pro? Well, let me help you out today. Hey, how's it going guys? It's me, Dominic, back again with another Premiere Pro tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can put your own LUTs into Premiere Pro like I have here. ColourPop 1, Winter's Morning, uh, Cool Winter Night, and so on. You know, I'm trying to get into the LUT game make my own really cool LUTs. So let me know if you guys want to see a video on how to create your own LUTs. And uh, yeah, so I have another one here. And so let's get that one over here. Uh, right here is dark sharpened. And I want to get that into the Premiere Pro folder. So you want to open up your Premiere Pro or wherever your Adobe products folder is. And you want to double click on that. You want to go Lumetri and then LUTs. And then there's these three you can choose. I'm going to pick Creative and see right there just plop it in right there and change that actually that's the wrong one we want to put in a uh, cube let's um let's get a cube in there and then let's rename that so it's easier for us to find Oops. let me just uh, rename this so we can have ease to find and there now it's in Premiere Pro all right, now that I got Premiere open again, let's go in here and you see Dark Sharpen is right there. Puts it right in. My custom lot is right here. Let's go. Let's go. Cool morning. See? And then all you gotta do is change the intensity. Let's change to 60. And then you add faded film and other stuff like that. So. To your liking, you adjust after you place your LUT, make it a little cooler. Let's do 35. And you see, with this LUT, it makes it a little better to see. Uh, for example, here you go. That's without, that's with the LUT and a little color grading by just choosing the faded film, sharpen, vibrance, and saturation. You, you obviously should be going more in depth, make sure everything looks nice. Because the LUTs only adjust the colors to what's set for the LUT, but it might not always look good on your clip. So you might want to be changing it so it looks perfect for the clip that you were putting it on. So thank you guys for watching. Hope this helped you install your own LUTs that you created. And if you want to know how to create your own LUTs, if you don't already, let me know down in the comments. I could help you guys learn how to make your own LUTs. So on the left is my social media that you guys should check out when this video is done. And on the right is your is a video that you guys should watch because it's recommended for you. And on top of that is a subscribe button, which you guys should totally subscribe to me for more content.